A quick striker update. A quick one, not I didn't say a good one, just a quick one. In fact, it's quite a bad one, really, uh, depending which way you look at it. If you've been looking forward to uh, Maxi Gomez signing, being announced, and you thought that he was the chosen one on the way forward, well, our path's been blocked a little bit, or at least a massive great obstacle has, has sort of parked in front of us, stopping us from getting to our journey, because we thought that we had a clear run at it. When I say we, the club and those involved in negotiating the transfer have thought for quite some time that they'd had a clear run at it. If you have been following this story closely, you'll know that he had a lower release cause on the event of Celta Vigo's relegation from La Liga. They didn't get relegated at all. So the price wasn't £25 million, it was £45 million. Pounds, euros, pence, I don't know. But that's basically the gist of it. We've been have, having tentative talks uh, for some time just to gauge uh, his interest. Arsenal have come in. And as of sort of this afternoon, I do believe that West Ham only think that the chances of signing him are sort of 5 to 10%, something like that, which is, uh, which is not particularly good news if you fancied him. So, on to the other targets, Mitrovic. Apparently, the club think the chances of signing him are only... 5 to 10%. I, I can't remember which way round it is now, but but there was nobody was saying any 100% or 50% or 80% when I heard about it. So, finally, Rondon. The chances of signing Rondon, you've guessed it, 5 or 10%. So there you have it. That's that's the la- that's the latest news, breaking news if you like. Uh the Andy Carroll thing, I should probably tell you that Andy Carroll um he is not being offered a a pay as you play deal. I mean, literally, I, I think it was uh, it was laughed off. The suggestion was laughed off. I I don't believe even Andy Carroll knew anything about this offer or his agent or anybody else. Which does make you wonder what Andy Carroll is going to go and look to do. Really, I, I, maybe Andy Carroll has no offers whatsoever. Maybe the fact that he's just bought Rod Stewart's house for a bargain. Uh, four and a half million pounds probably suggests he's staying put in Essex. I think because of that, uh, whoever leaked the stories put two and two together and come up with eight. So, but there's no truth in that whatsoever. So we are a long, long way away from getting a striker. But I do believe the club still want to offload Chicharito. They still want to offload Perez if they can. I think they're going to be have to be a little bit creative now. I, I'm also mindful this might be a little bit of smoke and mirrors. Maybe the actual real target is somebody else. And all these people like Morega, like Maxi Gomez, uh, maybe to to keep pe- people like me, nosy people, to keep nosy people off the scent while they go and get their real target. Um, there's got to be others. There's got to be plenty of others. To be honest, as far as I was concerned, I Morega was... I don't know, he looked all right, but he was 28. I don't think that's the direction we should really be going in anyway. Uh, Rondon, the fact I think Rondon's even older, I didn't mind if he was going to cause a pit- uh, cost a pittance. Uh, certainly, um, 35 million for a 28-year-old. I, I don't think so. I do wonder, though, if, if the club are sort of putting this information out there so as... Uh, you know, some of these clubs uh, that, you know, and their agents and whatnot get to hear that actually we don't fancy our chances of signing him. Um, so they drop their price because 35 million is too big. I don't know what Fulham are asking for Mitrovic. They're all big boys, though, aren't they? They're all big boys. Gomez, Mitrovic, Morega. Clearly he wants a lump up front. Maybe he's being sneaky. Maybe he wants a little a little shifty sort of, um, you know, a little shifty little Speedy, Gonzale, speedy Gonzalez type geezer. I wonder who he plays for. Anyway, that's it. Uh, that's the update. Sorry. Enjoy your weekend. Load of rubbish, innit? I'll, I'll be back sat in my van if we do sign someone. I'll do another video.